Body Guerra, it's because I live with my grandma. This is from the diabetes signs and symptoms video. Body Guerra, what does diabetes have to do with living with your grandma? Hey guys, you're probably here because you wanna know all about the keto diet. Is it safe? Is it good for you? Does it help you lose weight and loads more? Well, I'm gonna answer that question along with many other questions in this week's Responding to Your Comments, where we look at fun questions, we look at science-based questions, and most importantly, we look at the evidence. Aya Sawit, I have a question. Is the keto diet a bad diet? Thank you for the information in this video. Aya Sawit, thank you for your comment. This is from the How to Lose Weight video, and I guess it's time to talk keto. So firstly, the keto diet is short for ketogenic diet. It's basically a super low carbohydrate and high fat diet. And to be quite honest with you, over the years, more and more patients have been asking me about the keto diet, whether it's safe, whether it's good for you, do I recommend it, does it help you lose weight, and loads more. Now, despite the recent hype, the keto diet actually isn't that new, because in medicine, it's been used for almost 100 years to help treat drug-resistant epilepsy in children. Now, the aim of the keto diet is to significantly reduce your carbohydrate intake, so your body switches from burning carbohydrates, to so using sugar for energy, to burning fats for energy. Most cells prefer to use blood sugar for energy, which comes from the carbohydrates. But in the keto diet, because of the absence of carbohydrate intake and the high amount of dietary fat intake, your liver then starts to generate what's known as ketone bodies. And this effectively puts your body into a metabolic state of ketosis. So because of this, the keto diet is very high in proteins and fats, like meats, eggs, sausages, processed meats, cheese, fish, nuts, and the list goes on. But the diet is very restricted, and because of this, it's actually very hard to follow over the long run. So in ketosis, your body becomes incredibly efficient at using those ketone bodies generated from the breakdown of fat for fuel. So in other words, your body becomes really good at burning fats. And that was a very simplified version of how the keto diet works, but I really did try and simplify it because if we went through it in a lot of details, this video is gonna be over an hour long. And by the way, I will leave loads more information about the keto diet, how it works, all in the description below. So if you want more information, please check it out. But now that we know a little more about the keto diet and how it all works, now let's move on to the question. Is it good for you? Is it bad for you? And most importantly, what does the evidence say? Let's start with weight loss. Does the keto diet help you lose weight? Well, there was actually a really good meta-analysis done in the British Journal of Nutrition and it looked at 13 different studies where they followed patients either following a keto or low-fat calorie controlled diet for at least a year. Now the keto diet did perform statistically better with an average weight loss between the two of less than a kilogram. Now for anyone who doesn't do kilograms, that's about half a pound. Now there's two very interesting things to discuss about these results. Firstly, these results weren't found to be clinically relevant to health and secondly, after two years, these differences, well, this small difference in weight loss, actually vanished completely. So what does that mean? Well, it means that following such a restrictive diet, such as the keto diet, which is very hard to follow, isn't actually worth it for weight loss. Now, if you are thinking about trying to lose weight or trying to lose belly fat, I have made quite a few videos on this topic. It doesn't involve the keto diet. It's actually a diet from a study done in Oxford. And if you follow it properly, you can expect to lose 0.5 to one kilograms every single week, which is great. But here's the best part. After six weeks, those individuals in the study also reduce their visceral fat. Now, if you don't know what visceral fat is, visceral fat is the dangerous fat. So these individuals had a reduction in their visceral fat of about 14%. They also reduced their blood pressure. They also reduced their cholesterol, and they had a five centimeter reduction in their waistline, and this is all through a diet control without any additional exercise. So if you haven't seen that video, I will leave a link to it up here and in the description below, so feel free to check it out. Now, the keto diet can also have many side effects associated with it, and long term, it can cause many nutritional deficiencies. Because remember, the diet is so restrictive, it means that you're not getting a full variety of fruits, a full variety of vegetables or grains. The keto diet can also cause problems of the liver and kidney. So remember earlier how we said the liver is producing ketone bodies and ketosis, and how these ketone bodies are used for energy? So during this ketosis, your liver is working in overdrive. So if you have any pre-existing liver conditions, it can actually make your liver worse. The kidneys can also be affected because they help metabolize proteins. And during the keto diet, it's quite easy to overload them because it's so easy to go over the recommended daily intake of protein that you should be having when just following the keto diet normally. So I guess so far, it's not looking too good for the keto diet. I mean, 
Does it help you lose weight? Not really in the long run. It also can cause nutritional deficiencies and it also can cause kidney and liver problems. However, saying all that, we do have solid evidence that a keto diet can help reduce seizures in children, sometimes as effectively as medication. The keto diet has also been shown to improve blood sugar control in type two diabetics, at least in the short term. Generally speaking, there is a lack of long-term studies into the safety and effectiveness of the keto diet. So what does this mean? Well, it means that if you are diabetic and you are even considering trying the keto diet, please first speak to your doctor, your diabetic nurse specialist, your diabetic pharmacist specialist, any of them, please speak to them first before you do anything and get their advice on it. With regards to cholesterol, there are a few studies showing an initial increase in cholesterol from the keto diet, followed by a reduction in cholesterol. However, there are no long-term studies on this, analyzing the effectiveness of the keto diet at reducing the cholesterol levels and its safety. There are quite a few other negative points to raise about the keto diet. So one that we've already mentioned is that it's very restrictive and hard to follow. Two, it's very high in protein intake, usually going above the recommended allowance. And three, it's very heavy on the meats and other fatty processed and salty foods, which are notoriously unhealthy for you. And in addition, it can also cause many side effects. So to begin with, you will feel very tired. You will feel very fuzzy and you'll have mood swings. It's very normal with the keto diet to begin with. And also you can have many side effects like feeling sick, being constipated, and also struggling to fall asleep. So my final thoughts on the keto diet, Firstly, it's very restrictive, it's very hard to follow because it's such a big change to your eating habits. Secondly, it's not very good for weight loss. We know this, the evidence has showed it, that after a long period, it doesn't make that much of a difference. Thirdly, it's associated with many side effects and problems. And fourthly, which is the most important thing, there just aren't enough long-term studies on the keto diet to look at its safety, to look at its effectiveness, and to see if you can actually recommend it to people. So because of the lack of research, and because of everything else that I've mentioned in this video, I tend not to recommend the keto diet to most of my patients. So what I do recommend is make changes that you can sustain over the long run. Thank you for the question. I hope this answer helps anyone who's looking into the keto diet. And always remember that you're awesome. Claire Finnelly, not one doctor, pharmacist, nurse, surgeon ever explained this to me. I wonder how much flixinase, becanase, afrin I've squirted right into the back of my throat. Thank you, mate. Claire. Thank you for your comment. This is from the how to use a nasal spray video and I'm so happy that I could help you. But please remember this and I've said it before in, in previous videos. It's very difficult for healthcare professionals to give all the information to a patient because it's been shown that even if you counsel a patient, so if I counseled you face to face, whether it's in the pharmacy or in the clinic that I'm working at, you're probably only gonna remember one or two of those points, which is why YouTube's so amazing because I can make a video on it or a healthcare professional can make a video on it. They can direct you to it. You can watch it. You can learn how to use it and you can reap all the benefits from it. Just like this video has done for you. So Claire, I'm very happy that I can help you and thank you for the awesome comment. Flames fan for life. Have you heard of the movie Constipation? It hasn't come out yet. Flames fan for life. Thank you for your comment. You know, it's a really bad joke to be honest with you, but I actually did laugh when I read it. This is from the how to get rid of constipation video, but hopefully the movie has come out now because well, my video has helped you. Thank you for the comment. Daisy, you've decided that you want to make a change. You've decided that you want to be healthier. Me, nodding in agreement at 3 a.m. Daisy, thank you for your comment. This comment actually really made me laugh. It's from the how to lose weight video, looking at specific exercises to help you lose weight. And I just kind of put myself in someone else's shoes, listening to me and nodding their head at 3 a.m. Maybe let's try it side by side. I'll be someone watching the video and we'll play me. Because you've decided that you want to make a change, you've decided that you want to be healthier, and you have decided that you want the health benefits. So it looks like we've run out of time again in this week's responding to your comments. If I didn't get back to your comment, I'm really sorry, but the best advice I can give everyone is leave another comment and I will try my best to get back to you in a future episode of responding to your comments. Always remember you're awesome and I will see you next week. You know, that's a terrible joke, but I actually enjoy it secretly. Visceral fat is the dangerous fat, and the study actually showed a reduction of 14% in their visceral fat. They also had a reduction in their blood pressure. They also had a reduction in their cholesterol, and they had a reduction, I can't remember in what, <laughs> okay. Hey guys, thanks for watching this week's video. Make sure to click that like, follow, or subscribe button now to stay up to date with new weekly videos.